right so this is where we're going to create this schema fake button here this is how it works okay if i hover my mouse around the button here you could see that i change the color but the point of this button is that it doesn't look like this regular button here that you see let me play this it doesn't look like it you can see this regular button here just it just flats right however but this one has somewhat form of a like we're trying to mirror a real life button so i'm going to show you how to create it in less than five four five minutes all right so let's get right into it the first thing we're going to do is to click t on our keyboard and we're going to type place order so i'm using a font 14 and poppins is the font type i'm using and i left it as semi bold and the color is white but what i'm going to do now is to go ahead and create an auto layout by hitting shift a on my keyboard okay click out of it select it and click shift a so once i do that i'm going to come to this auto layout section i want to give the horizontal padding a 24 and the vertical padding i'm going to give it an 8 right so let's round the corners to a 12. now to create this kind of button that mirrors a real life button to achieve this we're going to make use of linear effect and some strokes so i'm going to come to this section here and this fill section and click the plus sign then i'm going to go ahead and choose click on this fill section here and select the second option which is gradient and make sure it's on linear for the first color this first color here i'm going to change this to hl hsb I'm going to use this hsb color so the color i'm using is zero for the first field the second field is zero two while the last field i'm going to make it a 22. the opacity i'm going to leave it at 100 while the second one i'm going to give it a zero one and i'm going to give the last one a 13 but i'm also going to increase it to 100 percent now Let's try to place it on a white surface so that you can see exactly what we're doing. I just selected a frame and I did this. We're starting to have somewhat of a realistic button, right? But we're not going to stop here. We're going to go to stroke. Click the plus sign for stroke here. Then in our stroke, we're going to give it a color of this color. Let's use, just copy the color code, which is 626262 right but this stroke now i'm going to change where it appears so if you look at it now the stroke is appearing around the shape that we have here i don't want it to appear at the bottom so that one that appear at the top gives the button more like an elevation making it look elevated so i'm going to go to this stroke section and i'm going to click on this stroke per side and i'm going to go to custom then I'm going to, this is the bottom stroke section and I'm going to click on zero. All right. So it takes out the stroke that we have at the bottom. Now the beauty of it now, look, it makes the button looks as if it says like elevated from the upside, right? Okay. So the next thing again that we're going to do, we're not stopping here. We're going to go ahead and add another auto layout by hitting shift A on this now let's give it a corner radius of 12 don't worry everything we form let's this this auto layout section we're going to give the horizontal padding a one vertical padding i'm still going to leave it at one right so remember we've already given it a corner radius so let's go to the fill color let's give it a fill this fill we're going to give the color code i'm going to use is three two three one three one and that is the simple thing that I did to create that button, right? So you could play around with different colors, depending on the color you want to use for the button. Now, to get it to have that um, effect, whereby when I hover, it has a different fill color. I'm going to duplicate this, select this and select the other one. And I'm going to create a component set. So in this component set, I am going to come here and work on the second one let's okay so let's go to the i'm going to click the drop down here and select the first frame that i created i'm going to try to change the color just not the stroke the main color 
I'm going to change it just a little bit. All right. So I'm going to select the first button, go to my product suite to prototype, and then connect it to the second one. Then click this drop down here and select Y hovering. Okay. So this is how I achieved this here. I'm going to select this one. I'm going to click on control C or command C, and I'm going to go ahead and select this, this button alone. And I'm going to click right click on my mouse and select paste to replace. So I've replaced. All right. So we can replace it like that. What I'm going to do is to remove this here and paste it here. Right, so once we do that, I'm going to select the both of them and create an auto layout. I just wanted you to see what we did. So it's as simple as that. So while hovering now, you can see the button and the effect that you've created.